remember saying that uh, but obviously I probably did but uh, I think in some ways things haven't changed you said that I said in 2006 in uh, in um, in Milan uh, no sorry in Rome when we were in Rome uh, at the Palais Ingresso wasn't it yeah when we did the show with the Chemical Brothers that even though we did uh, we supported them with an audiovisual show we were still listed as VJs but in some ways things haven't always changed because even though it's many years later and we're doing this now I noticed on the Intrechi, uh, the festival website, it says that me and Mark are doing a DJ and VJ set, which is which well, we're is doing a separate thing, yeah. Yeah, which is yeah. which is wrong, again, still. And so I, I did email uh, Francesco, the organizer, and I said, hey, you know, we're not DJs and we're not VJs. Uh, we, we just say it's live audiovisual set, and uh, and they they changed it. But I think it's still something, even after all these years, it's still something quite new. That, that a lot of people still don't quite understand. And so, um, yeah. We lost the picture. The good thing these days with video is now that at least with everything being digital, it's, it's a lot more, not completely standardised, but it's a lot more standardised. But um, recently, where was that? We turned up somewhere, I think it was, was it in Dubai in the Middle East or somewhere? We did a gig somewhere. And when we got there, I hadn't seen a BNC for a long time. And the guy just said, here is your video. And I said, that's, that's a BNC. I said, no, 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 we need like, like HDMI or SDI or something. And, like, and he was like, oh, and I said, like, we just can't use that at all. And, <laughs> and, uh, it was so, so I, I've forgotten what it looked like. It was so long since I'd seen one. But yeah, it's, it's a lot more standardized, which is better. Now you're the one that's always talking about logic. What about some logic now? It's out there, Doctor. Subspace channel. Subspace, subspace, subspace. Out there somewhere. Subspace, subspace, subspace. Subspace channel. Subspace, subspace, subspace. Subspace, subspace, subspace. Subspace channel, subspace, subspace. Put it on visual. Subspace, subspace, subspace. Subspace channel, subspace. 
subspace, 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 subspace channel, subspace, subspace. Ah, you're saying what? How how have we become so old and still doing what we're doing? Mark, how have we Viagra. managed? <laughs> yeah, Mark takes lots of Viagra. Viagra yeah. and plenty of uh, Italian. Peroni. Um, you mean like, yeah, Ohio. Longevity. Longevity. What's the secret of longevity? I think, without sounding really cheesy or stupid, I think the secret of longevity is just not to give up. Just to n never say Perseverance. no. Perseverance. So when it's really hard, you still have to carry on. And you still, even though it's always a struggle, I think like all art is a struggle. When it becomes easy, it just becomes like a normal job. And so I think that all these years later, it isn't any easier now than it was 10 years ago. I think it's still the same sort of struggle. I mean, things sometimes are a bit easier because, as you were just saying, people understand this a bit more, but it's still not always easy, especially, I mean, I mean, especially doing visuals and video with audio. I think that's the thing. So often we arrive somewhere and people still go, oh, okay, uh, which one of you is the DJ and the... The DJ, he can go on the stage, and the, the VJ, he can go at the back. And, the, and we go, no, 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 that's, that's not how... All of our equipment is like one equipment, and it's all connected. And, and uh, the audio, some of it is triggering the MIDI, uh, MIDI triggering the video live. And it's, it's not a DJ, and it's not VJ. It's, it's, it's like a, a, an artist, an electronic artist. And I think that even now, video... Even though video is now everywhere, you have more, many, many, many more artists performing with video. The show is with video, but the artist, the audio artist or the DJ, they are not performing the video. And I think that's the thing. So, so many technicians in the public, they just think the video just happens and uh, the music is by this guy on stage. And so when like, two guys like us come along and say, oh, no, no, we do the music and the video, people still find it a bit difficult. It's the initial confusion, but then once they see the show, they get it, you know, because it's quite obvious that both of us are doing what's on the screen and what they're hearing, so, you know. True, which is why for us it's very, very important to be positioned in front yeah. of the screen or next to the screen in some way and not be, I mean, because sometimes we've done shows at really big festivals, like, you know, 30,000 people, huge festivals, and they tell us, oh, you can use the screens on the side of the stage, and we have to always say, no, no, we want a screen as well on the stage. And when sometimes they say, no, no, you cannot have it, we say, okay. And then people are confused because they think, well, what, what is this video? Where, where is this coming from? And, the, and they go, oh. And, and so, and often, it's <laughs> if it's a really big festival and a big stage, you see all the audience, they just, oh, they down the middle. you know, like, it like the parting of the Red Sea. And so all the audience wants to stand and look at the screen. And so there is nobody in front. And then... The promoter or the organizer of the festival says, hey, what happened? Why did the people go to the left and to the right? And you say, because they want to watch the screen. And you say, and if you don't have a screen on stage, what are they looking at? Just me and Mark going like, like this. And so... Mapping. What do we think about mapping? Oh, oh, Mark pulled a face. Mark pulled a face. Love it. Um, no, you come on. You um, I mean, mapping. I have seen some amazing mapping, but I've also seen some really bad mapping. And I think for me, mapping was always just a, a, a technology in, in a way of projecting. And for me, it's always about the content. And I think for us, it's about the kind of content. And that's why I think sometimes with a lot of mapping, when it's just shapes and the bricks falling down of a building and, and this guy, I, I think maybe many years ago it was great, but now it's, you know, and, I, and that's why often you don't see a lot of mapping where you go, wow, and you're really amazed. Sometimes you, you can. At last year, or was it this year? No, last year, we were the judges uh, in Moscow in Russia for a mapping competition. And we saw some really good work, some really, really amazing work. 
but there was also a lot of work that really was just shapes and colors and and uh, and having it as mapping is the only thing that makes it a tiny bit better than just projecting it on a screen so for us i think mapping is more about just a way of projecting something and um for us it's more about the content you know i'm really amazed by things that make me go uh, that are very you know almost hypnotic no it's not really an art form in itself it's a uh, it's an amazing tool oh i think we have to go bye <laughs> We got to perform. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Begin!